This is the world's first photograph ever taken. 1839, the world moved from the era of painting to photography. What did was, it launched a new art form, which was never seen before. We jump to 2005, the era of film photography, digital photography, this one piece of device, a smartphone, a camera on a smartphone, combined with the advent of YouTube, with the advent of Facebook, transformed our world. Our world now looks like this. The question next is, there are about 3.5 trillion photographs in this world. The world has taken more photographs than the whole mankind did in the 19th century. Photography is the visual currency for communication. But then, what is the future of photography? If you look at photography as a field, there always has been a debate. Is it an art? Is it a science? Is it about the eye? Is it about the technology? But you can never take away the art away from photography. It's always about that moment that you want to capture. But having said that, from the ages of the dark room to right now to Photoshop, the technology has been a central aspect. What has not changed is this device, this camera. Still has a lens, still has a sensor, and has not changed for the past 100 years. We want to change that. We want to take the world to a new era of picture making. Now, what makes a beautiful picture? This is a beautiful picture. Is this because shot by an SLR? Well, the, it's very high resolution. It has a depth of field effect. Is it the lighting? Well, it's all of it. One of the major aspects of filmmaking and photography is the focus. Till now, you have to choose the focus up front before you can take a photograph. In this picture, for example, I want to shoot on this lady, but I missed it. There's no way I can recover it back because I've never captured that information. At the Media Lab at MIT, we made a technology in which you can print a piece of mask within a rupee, open up your SLR, put it inside, click a photograph, and from this photo, you can convert to this photo. You can refocus after you've taken a photograph. I showed this to a bunch of my friends. They were like, this is cool, this is awesome, but I'll never use it. I said, why? Because I want this on my smartphone. I moved to India to set up the Media Lab India program and decided if you really want to promote this culture of interdisciplinary learning and creation, you need to show that cool tech can be done in India. We took that technology, worked with a bunch of students, and made it on a mobile device. After I've taken a photo, I've created an SLR of a mobile phone. You have all heard of Instagram. Imagine Instagram in 3D. I click a photo, tap on the lady, and do color filter. Or I can change the background and change the lighting of the background. All on a touch on a smartphone. I can swipe away my friends to wherever I like. So all this is possible because of this new camera technology right on your, on your mobile phone. At the Media Lab at MIT, we have a saying called demo or die. That if you can't demo your product on stage, then you might as well perish. So let me just bring a brief demo of this technology on the stage and show it to you. Over here, the guy in the background is in focus, and the lady in front is completely out of focus. I can tap on her and change the focus right on my smartphone. <laughs> what I can also do is, I can take this new form of photography I can convert into monochrome and on the background I can just keep changing the lighting. All this like Instagram but in 3D. <laughs> Finally I want to leave with this thought. So this is one of the most iconic photos taken by the great photographer Ansel Adams. This is called Moonrise Hernandez. He was driving a car in New Mexico Santa Fe. He saw this scene a landscape, the lighting was going down, the moon was, the moon was rising down. He took his camera out, large format camera, went out, checked the exposure meter, checked the focus, spent five minutes, didn't know what the illuminance was, had a guess, and made his photograph. Now we are moving into an era in which all of this is not needed. All of this will happen after you've taken a photograph. And in this era, as cameras first did, that the rise of a perfect realism led to the dissidence of an art called painting. Um, I hope that as technologists, I can inspire the artist in you, the photographer in you, to use the technology, not only create new art forms, but also create really amazing piece of work. Thank you. Thank you.